What's up guys, r, &R Horror Hunter, aka Steve, back at you yet again with another video. This is going to be a general update video, very small, quick update. Uh, I haven't done update videos in a while, and actually I could do a bigger update if I wanted to just, you know, show all the stuff I've gotten since my last update video, but, you know, I don't really want to do that. I just want to do stuff that I got pretty recently within the last two or three weeks. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to start off with uh, the CDs. Uh, I bought a couple new uh, musical CDs, and I'm very happy with them. Uh, the first is Dead Ringer by Meatloaf. Uh, of course, you can't see the title except for Meatloaf on here. That's just kind of how the cover was made. But, uh, yeah, it's a very, very nice CD. I really, really like this album. It's really fun uh, to listen to. Uh, not near... Uh, really Bad Out of Hell or Bad Out of Hell 2 but it's probably his third best album so I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty happy with it uh, there's eight songs on here uh, seven num uh, track number seven is a no not number seven track number six is a uh, speech by the writer of all the Meatloaf songs Jim Steinman and uh, it's it's a really interesting little piece. I actually did a uh, cover of it on my channel. You can check that out uh, somewhere else. But yeah, also just definitely check out um, that speech. It's called Nocturnal Pleasure uh, by Jim Steinman uh, on the Meatloaf Dead Out uh, Dead Ringer for Love album. Uh, I've got I've got that cover up, and I definitely say you need to check out this album. It's got some fantastic tracks on it. We've got Peel Out, which is okay. I'm Gonna Love Her for Both of Us, which is pretty good. More Than You Deserve, which is fantastic. Really funny, actually, if you watch the video on YouTube. Definitely try and watch the music videos to most of these, because they're pretty funny. Uh, I'll Kill You If You Don't Come Back, which is probably the best song on the album, and actually one of my favorite Meat Love songs of all time. Uh, Read em and Weep, which, was, which is, I believe, an 80s classic. Uh... It was also covered by Barry Manilow, and actually got more chart success with Manilow than it did Loaf. Although I really think Meat Loaf's uh, version of the song is the best one, because it's got more passion. And Meat Loaf's just overall got a better voice. Uh, Nocturnal Pleasure, uh, like I said, just a quick little speech. The entire city is burning. You can see the flames like the inside of a mad jukebox. Lost boys stalk the streets with those jungle markings on their chests. You know, fantastic Jim Steinman stuff. Uh, then it bleeds into Dead Ringer for Love, uh, the title track, I suppose. Uh, it's a really, really good song, very nice rock song. Uh, it features Cher, and I'm not, gonna, not a big Cher fan. I don't like Cher at all, but it does, uh, it, it does feature her, and she actually does a pretty good job overall, so... And then Everything is Permitted, the final song on the album, which is okay. I think it's some form of rebellious teenage love song or something like that, but it's it's okay. Uh, next CD, I know I spoke too long on the Meatloaf album, but I just really like Meatloaf, uh, both the food and the singer. So <laughs> uh, the next one is a uh, soundtrack to a film, uh, not a score soundtrack, a uh, just popular music soundtrack. And that is Scream 2, music from the Dimension Motion Picture. I really like it. I really, really like Scream 2 both as a movie and as a soundtrack. Um, we got to start off, I'm just going to name off a few, uh, all the songs on here. We've got Scream uh, by Master P featuring Slick the Shocker. Uh, it's a uh, rap song. I'm not into rap, so I didn't enjoy that. Suburban Life, which is kind of a... Uh, one of the white guy uh, song rap songs by uh, Cottonmouth Kings. Um, yet again, rap song. I'm not really into that, but it does have a little bit of a rock edge to it, so I kind of like it. Kind of sounds like the Beast Boys, Beastie Boys. Uh, next, Rivers by Sugar Ray. Really, really nice song. Uh, I like the instrumentation. Pretty nice stuff. Uh, She's Always in My Hair, performed by D'Angelo. Originally written by Prince, or as he likes to be known, Symbol. Uh, so, yeah, it's She's Always in My Hair, performed by D'Angelo. 
he does a pretty good job. I really like the uh, vocals that he puts on there. Uh, very soulful and stuff. I also like the guitar riff. Um, Help Myself, performed by Dave Matthews Band. Not a big Dave Matthews fan, but he does a pretty good job with this song. I think it's well written. Um, I don't agree with all the subjects he talks about on there, but it's pretty good. Uh, she Said, performed by Collective Soul, which is the best song on the album. I really, really love uh, She Said by Collective Soul. It's my favorite Collective Soul song. Collective Soul is in my top ten favorite rock bands of all time. Um, yeah, they're just really, really cool as a band. And the track is just fantastic, and it speaks really perfect for uh, the character of Sid. Uh, right Place, Wrong Time by the John Spencer Blues Explosion. I can't remember who wrote that song, but it uh, it's not an original song. But uh, John Spencer and the Blues Explosion, they do a really good job with it. It's really fun. Uh, nice song. Uh, kind of rap-infused blues, uh, funk kind of stuff. I really like it. Dear Lover by Foo Fighters. Fantastic song. I really love the Foo Fighters. Eyes of Sand performed by Tonic. Pretty good song as well. Uh, I really, really like the um, lead lick, the lead guitar lick. Uh, the Swing, performed by Everclear, which is probably the second or third best song on the album. Uh, I really, I really, really like that song. I'm not a fan of Everclear, but the song is really, really good. Very catchy and uh, got a fantastic opening guitar lick. Uh, I Think I Love You, performed by Less Than Jake. Uh, originally from the uh, Top Gun soundtrack. Uh... This is just a little 90s punk group doing a cover of uh, <laughs> of a Broadway musical type song. And it it's exactly what you expect. It's fantastically uh, cheesy, uh, funny, angsty, everything that you want out of something like that. So it's pretty uh, good. I really recommend that. Uh, Your Lucky Day in Hell, performed by Eels. Uh, very, very good song. Uh, disturbing. I don't agree with everything that they say, but very, very disturbing. Uh, creepy. Uh, Red Right Hand for my Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Really, really nice stuff there. Uh, except I'm not a huge fan of this mix of the song. It doesn't have as much of a violent breakdown as, uh, as it does in the original version from, uh, Let Love In. Uh, One More Chance performed by Kelly. It's okay. It's just kind of an R&B song. R &B song. Uh, the Race performed by Ear 2000, which is actually... Uh, David Arquette's um, band, and of course, you know, he was in the film, uh, but, you know, it's it's an okay song, it's definitely really catchy, got a very catchy chorus or something like that, it's just, I don't know, it's weird, but I, I kind of like it, it's not one that I actually put on my iPod when I, uh, when I pulled this CD from the CD to the iPod, so, but this will definitely stay in my horror collection, and I'll show it off uh, on my shelf, so yeah, that's cool. Uh, alright, very quickly, get through the two movies that I bought. One non-horror, and, uh, two slash one horror. I'll get to that later. Uh, first one is one of my favorite comedies of all time. Probably my favorite comedy of the 70s, Meatballs by Bill Murray. Fantastic stuff. One of the funniest movies ever to grace the screen. Uh, Bill Murray, of course, is a genius. Um, there's fan there's some pretty good acting in here. Some of the acting's bad. It's really mixed acting, but uh, overall, very interesting, uh, very interesting movie. Very funny, uh, very feel good, and uh, ver really one of the first two or three camp movies to ever happen. Of course, the third being like Friday the Thirteenth. And finally, I got a double feature set. Um, one movie I already own, the other I'm, uh, I'm just really happy to own, but actually I'm pretty happy to own this version of the other movie as well, so, double feature from Lionsgate of My Bloody Valentine and April Fool's Day. Uh, My Bloody Valentine, of course, I already own that, I own it on the Special Collector's Edition or whatever it is that they put out recently, uh, well, not recently, but when the, um, when the remake came out. I like that version. I haven't seen all the way through the just theatrical version, which I'm assuming this is. Um, April Fool's Day overall, I watched that yesterday. I've seen it probably, including yesterday, um, I've seen it like twice. So, yeah, and I really enjoy it. I think it's a pretty good movie. Uh, I actually like it better than Friday the 13th Part 2. Um, 
Yeah, I think it's Amy Steele's best performance as an actress. She definitely does a great job in here. Uh, I love Amy Steele as a final girl. She's fantastic. Uh, yeah, the Kit character is pretty interesting. Um, some people are not fans of the ending of this movie. I'm a fan of it. I don't care. Uh, I don't care how it ends, really. Uh, kind of ends on a little bit of a creepy note as well, anyway. But, you know, I like it overall. It's a pretty good movie, and, you know, every single edition of the movie, by that I mean, you know, April Fool's Day, just simply as a, uh, sorry about that, but simply as a, uh, one feature movie, I guess. Uh, of course, it's all bare bones. Every every edition that it's ever had has been bare bones, but uh, it's been like seven ninety nine, eight bucks. I got this for uh, five bucks at a used store, which is still more than I would have paid for it normally. But I really wanted April Fool's Day, and it was nice to have another edition of My Bloody Valentine to add to the collection. So yeah, My Bloody Valentine, of course, out of print in every way. Uh, I'm not really sure if this DVD is out of print, but I haven't seen it in uh, actual Superstore for a while. Uh, so, yeah, glad to have this. So that's my update, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's actually run longer than I expected, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I suppose these are kind of reviews of these albums, so I uh, may or may not need to review them. So I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Rock on. If you like, subscribe. See y'all later, and bye.